Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to use Azure Data Studio and GitHub in order to download quite a bit of content, primarily notebooks. They're actually referenced in this book by Bob Ward on SQL Server 2019. Many excellent examples, things you would not want to have to type in manually. So we'll go through how you download it from GitHub. Okay, so we'll start by opening up GitHub. It says go to Bob SQL in the book, so B-O-B-S-Q-L, and we'll search GitHub. And sure enough, Bob SQL for Microsoft pops up. There's two repositories, actually. And you can see a green button to download or, or clone. What we'd like to do is clone it, get an exact copy. You could then continue to sync as changes would be posted to this GitHub site, you could automatically sync it down instead of a one-time copy. It's more of a live or an up-to-date copy of this content. So I'm gonna choose this button and you'll notice that there's a link that pops up. This link will be used in Azure Data Studio to clone all the content. So I'll click on this button here, which is to copy. Next, we'll go into Azure Data Studio, and then in Azure Data Studio, what we'll do is use the command palette to tell it to clone content from a URL. To do that, I'll go to the command palette, control shift P, and then from here, you want to type git colon clone. I've actually done this recently, so it appears within my recently used uh, list. Now it wants to know what is that repository that you would like to clone. I put it on the clipboard so I can just paste that right in. And now it wants to know where you want to place this within your folder structure. I have a folder off of my C drive. It's called ADS where I do put my notebooks. And I've created a folder by the same title, which is SQL Server. 2019 revealed. So I will select that particular folder right now. It's, it's empty. I'll go into it. You can see it's, it's actually empty. But I'll select that as repository location. And now it has cloned all that content down to my local system. I'll go ahead and open it up in Azure Data Studio. So you can see that from a file level, we have got all of the content. And then from a Jupyter Notebook perspective, we actually cannot see that simply because the table of contents YAML is not reflected to show the contents. We did an earlier video on that. That's a fairly routine process to do that. So you could then have a navigable path via Jupyter Notebooks and readme files and YAML table of contents to see all of the notebooks, but you still could drill in at the file level and you can see there's demos here the actual book and chapters where notebooks have been created i can drill into the notebooks they're right here and here's the first notebook it has to do with approximate counts so i can open that up and then i have the entire jupyter notebook with the rich text steps code samples, and results. So you have that for really a tremendous amount of content that's in Bob's book, highly recommended. And that's how you would be able to use all of these samples very easily by going to GitHub, cloning the content, and then moving it all down into your local system. Hope that helps out. We'll see you next time.